So it finally happened. I finally broke even with my investment with sheep. Kind of, sort of, uh, if you stretch it. It only took me three years to do it, but uh, today I'm pulling out all the stops. I'm gonna show you all the numbers that really what it took to, to spend and earn to make my money back with sheep. Okay, so the longtime viewers will know and remember that I started my journey with sheep with just a trio of sheep, two ewes, and a ram, and that was about three years ago. And it kind of feels like I've just been spending money on them ever since. So I thought to myself, hey, I want to, I want to do the numbers. I want to actually know, <laughs> is it, has this been worth it for me? And I was surprised and pleased to find out, uh, yeah, kind of, uh, we finally broke even. So today I'm gonna share with you uh, the four categories and all the expenses with that. So the four categories are what I've spent, what I've saved, what I have sold. Category number four is a mystery expense. It's an interesting one because if you add up all the three other categories, category four is the most expensive out of all of it. I have a couple of disclaimers. Number one, I don't keep every receipt, but I usually, if it's a big project, I do a YouTube video about it and I show those receipts in there. I also have a pretty good log of, you know, if I remember buying something but forgot what it costs, I just look it up. I've looked it up online to, to figure that out. So another disclaimer is that if I ever am unsure, I'm rounding up. And you'll also notice my numbers. I, I do round up to nice, easy round numbers in increments of 10, just to make all of it easier for you and I to do the math. And finally, the last disclaimer, probably the one that I will get the most beef about, um, no pun intended, uh, what I'll get the most uh, comments about is like, hey, those numbers are unrealistic, or this is way too expensive. You paid too much. You're selling for too much. These are full blood papered dorpers. So depending on where you are in the country, different prices for everybody. But if they've got papers and if they're full blood, they're going to cost more. Okay, so let's just talk about the sheep themselves. I have purchased sheep on three separate occasions. Number one was my original trio. That cost me $2,200. That was two ewes and a ram. Those ewes came to me pregnant, not by that ram. My second purchase was a ewe with two ram lambs, so three sheep, for $750. And my third purchase was three ewe lambs. All of them were, I think, like eight to 10 months, so approaching breeding age. And those three ewe lambs cost me $2,400. So all together with sheep is gonna be $5,000. $350. Okay, let's talk about feed. Um, sheep eat grass, yes, but during the winter, as you can see right now, uh, they eat hay. When I was in Utah, I was spending a lot more on hay than I was out here for um, a longer season of hay, but uh, no matter what, I mean, my pasture's not big enough to support them throughout the year, so I'm buying hay. <sighs> okay, I'm going quick on this. My first year uh, with three sheep, I spent $350 on hay. My second year with sheep, I think I was overwintering five ewes and one ram. I spent $650 on it. My third year, which is here um, in North Carolina, I think I overwintered five or six ewes and a ram. And I only spent $350 on hay that year. Much shorter uh, winter season in North Carolina than Utah. And finally, this year, which um, I only have four rams, has only been $150. And these four rams are going to be processed or sold within the next month. So nice, easy $1,500 for feed. Okay, let's talk about the random supplies. Okay, minerals. Um, I have that down at $180, three bags over the three years, each one about $60. Next to that has been Icelandic kelp. Um, very good, also kind of a mineral budget, each bag $60. I've only had to buy two bags. I've, I've only purchased one watering bucket, um, they had or feed bucket the one that they're eating out of now I didn't buy um, I have about five and I haven't bought any of them except for one and I paid 120 bucks for that okay uh, tarp and T posts for their portable structure only $70 electric fencing has been a big one um, I use premier one really big fan of their electric fences actually couldn't be happier with them for six fences I have paid $840 which covers about Oh man, I didn't write this math down. It's about seven to 800 feet of fencing, maybe eight to 900 feet of fencing. And fencing does not work unless you have chargers. I needed two chargers um, and I always prefer to go big than go small with chargers. They both cost me 120, so that's 240. So look at the math there, um, random stuff. That's gonna be $1,570, about what it's cost to overwinter them. 
let's talk about the vet. That is the last category here. I've had the vet out five times within the 18 months that I've moved to North Carolina. Um, I have appreciated the vet, but not for this price. Uh, I won't break down every visit for you, but they've been out here five times. Um, every time the vet has come out, I have lost a sheep, regardless of what the vet gives. So that's a big thing of advice that I would say is um, you might not need to waste money on a vet because I have paid a whopping $950 to the vet. And again, didn't save a single animal. With that kind of money, you can see, remember when I was talking about sheep, I bought one ewe and two rams. Uh, for 750 so would have been better just to buy new sheep maybe that's not a great way to think about it but the vet hasn't been my favorite thing okay so there it is uh five thousand three hundred and fifty dollars <laughs> that's what i've spent on direct costs for the sheep that is the number to beat okay i know it's really fun to talk about how much money you make selling animals but um a penny saved is a penny earned so let's talk about what I've saved with these sheep. Obviously, let's start with meat. Looking back, I really just wanted to do this for the meat and I thought full blood was just a nice way to make money on the side with breeding stock, but meat is really the full purpose of this. So we've processed seven lambs. Um, I should have mentioned this earlier. I wrote it down, forgot to say it. We have lambed 19 lambs. Is that how you say it? We've had 19 lambs um, on this homestead over three years. Seven of them have gone to processing. Um, which has equated to 345 pounds of meat for us. So if you do the math conservatively at $12 a pound, which if you're going to the farmer's market, that's what you get ground lamb for, let alone, you know, cuts are gonna be way more than that. So at $12 a pound for 345 pounds, that's $4,140 saved over the past three years. And if you're raising sheep and you don't eat lamb, which I get some people like comment that, that do that, um, that's strange, okay? Lamb is delicious. Enjoy the lamb, especially if you're raising a hair sheep like Dorper. You're saving a lot of money. Learn to love that taste, it's amazing. And I get off my soapbox about lamb. Um, let me just talk about trays. I'll, I'll drop the number real quick. So it's 1,500. That is uh, probably very conservative, but I've traded sheep three times. Two times for a stud ram, um, and one time I traded a couple of lambs for a stud ram. And I've gotten, like I said, I got some, I got a stud ram out of a few trades. One of my trades, I traded, uh, well, actually one of these sheep, I still have him, but he, I'm giving him to my neighbor because he gave me some time. Um, he did a lot of tractor work for me, which I equated to about $500. So those three trades, I attribute to about $500 worth of saved um, expenses for me, be it in not buying sheep or not buying tractor time. So $1,500. So looking at what I saved here, that's 500, 500. Looking at what I've saved, that's $5,640. That's not small money, that, that's real stuff. Okay, let's talk about the fun stuff. How much have I made selling sheep for breeding stock? So I've only had four sales in my entire time of doing this and uh, it's been great. I got no complaints. So one ram and ewe lamb I sold as a combo together for $1,050. Um, Pretty reasonable price. They weren't breeding age yet. It worked out for me, it worked out for him. Next sale was three ewes and three ewe lambs. This was a sale where if longtime viewers will remember when I needed to kind of get rid of all of my ewes because I was uh, changing my mindset about how I wanted to do this. Um, and I found someone who was a good fit nearby. And it, anyway, he was doing me a favor by taking the whole stock. I was doing him a favor by uh, selling for what I think was a really fair price. And by fair, I mean a pretty cheap deal. So I sold him those six sheep. Again, these are all full bloods for $2,400. Um, it was a really good deal for him, um, but it really helped me out too. We stay in contact a lot. I might get lambs from him in the future because now I'm kind of more interested in, in finishing rams. Put a mental asterisk in your head for that number. That's artificially low, but it's the reality. Okay, I had one cull sheep. Um, I did a video on a, on a ewe that just was not doing very well. I was gonna cull her and uh, one of you on YouTube found me who's nearby and said, hey, I'll buy her. Uh, we worked out worked out a deal for $400 for that ewe. Um, good deal for him, good deal for me. And uh, it worked out great and she, she's doing great. She went to a shepherd that has a much larger flock and gave her more attention. Okay, and my lone ram lamb, actually he's not back, or he's back here, he's not sold yet, but um, he has spoken for, got a deposit and everything for $500 for that little dude. So there it is, there's the final number, $4,150 in what I have 
sold. Okay, so now that we got those three categories out of the way, let's just pause and analyze the numbers. So spent uh, $9,370 and combined savings and sold together, that is a uh, return of $9,790. So I know what you're thinking. Um, what am I gonna do with all of that money? <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, but but jokes aside, there is there is that fourth category that I haven't talked about yet. And the mystery category is um, infrastructure. So when we moved from Utah to North Carolina, we had a budget like everyone does when you're looking for a house. And uh, we found what we thought was the perfect house and it was under budget. But it was covered in uh, trees and blackberry bushes and thorns and thistles and just a lot of uninhabitable stuff. And so we knew going into it that there were going to be some expenses to us. So it's not looped up into these costs. I consider it more of a cost to uh, buying the house that we wanted. But it's a real thing. So let me just let me just ground this in reality here. So the two major costs were fencing supplies, which I don't know if anyone has like fenced in multiple acres recently, but oh my goodness, supplies are crazy for that. And then the labor and land clearing. If I didn't have a full-time job, I'd be happy to do this myself. But um, I have this thing called the nine to five that, uh, that takes my time. Like I said, the budget was already there. And so we used it to clear the, the land and help build the fences. Okay, so those are some big numbers. So just the supplies, $11,250. Um, and the labor, which included tractor work as well as a team to clear land and build fences, that was $20,200. Which, I'm sorry, this pen is dying, but that comes to a grand total of $31,450. So definitely not small numbers here. But I think it's worth it for people to go into this realistically. Um, I wanted to get a video out there explaining for the person who was me four years ago, wondering, hey, how much is this gonna cost? Can I actually make money doing this? Or is it just gonna be, you know, like an internship, you get paid with experience. And that's what the real takeaway is here, is there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with getting paid with experience. I've had so many rewarding times with sheep. I have had heartbreak over raising sheep. I have pulled my hair out working with sheep. There's been a lot of ups and downs, but it's given me so much perspective and it's made me very excited to continue this journey. I am absolutely continuing my journey uh, with ruminants and that will include sheep in the future. You just all the money we paid for the fencing and the pasture we will be using it in the future but these four sheep they've got just a few weeks maybe a month left here and then we're on to our next adventure okay so i've learned a lot in three years um if you want to see what i learned in my first two years with sheep i made a video last year about that um it's a good one that is just a great refresher if you watch this and you haven't kept sheep yet that's a good one for you thanks for watching the high mountain homestead i am pj and i truly hope to see you on another video mm -hmm.